Welcome to West Roast, where we take your dumb suggestions and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Pat. And today, guys, we, uh, Pat and I just saw the new Mad Max movie, so our suggestion comes from that. Chris Vince said, idea for the next show, draw a character for the next Mad Max movie. And we're gonna do just that. So that was a great, a great movie. I enjoyed it very much, though. Yeah, um, I think we were. I think we left the theater. We were. I, we, I don't know about you. I was already imagining what my Mad Max character would be. Exactly. Yeah, my my Mad Max OC. Yeah. In the Maxiverse. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, I I think that the thing I like most about Mad Max. I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Uh, is how like it's like brought. I feel like it's like brought like heavy metal back. Yeah. Like, it's the most like heavy metal movie I've seen in a very long time. Totally. I mean, I think. Um, the, I had re- I had read some mm-hmm. uh, I'd seen some headlines yeah. beforehand, and that guitarist is by far the, the breakaway <laughs> star of the movie. Yeah. Oh, are the you breakout about... star of the movie? Oh, are you talking about um, the Doof Warrior, the Coma Doof Warrior? <laughs> Why, yes, I I guess I was. I don't I w- get that name. That's not. I don't either. I think yeah. like well, all the characters have like crazy names. Yeah, yeah. I I looked it up afterward. Like all the the, the wives in the movie are called like. One of them is called like the Dag, yeah. Just the Dag. <laughs> but Max, Max is mad because his name is so boring <laughs> relative to everyone else in the world. It's so true. No, yeah, the the list of names is incredible. It's like I'm uh, a big fan of Rictus Erectus, Imperi- Imperator Joe, Imperator, Imperator Joe, or no, Immortan Joe, Immortan, Immortan Joe. Oh, mm-hmm. Imperator, I think mm-hmm. is. Furiosa. Yeah. And I think Imperial Arts are like, t- uh, is like a class. Like a general, I yeah. think maybe like or something trying, like that. You're, you're drawing Krillin. <laughs> yeah. A scorpion Krillin. <laughs> no, this is, so I'm drawing, uh, we talked about this, I want to draw um, Reverse Master Blaster. That's yes, right, right. This is going to be like. <laughs> so uh, we, can you, what is this? This a is must, a Master Blaster bluster. with the dwarf on yeah. the bottom. Yeah. And uh the and giant on the top. <laughs> That's who's getting there. Just because these are really big, beefy legs coming in here. <laughs> he just did not think it through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's like, he's kind of like, uh, uh. We'll combine our four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I> like <laughs> one man enters. Two. One man enters and then, you know, gets crushed this by the other This is not what man. I meant when I said we combine forces. <laughs> Wait. In Thunderdome, the motto is one man oh. enter, two men leave. Correct. But Master Blaster is clearly two men. He's is that a, mm, is that a technicality? Is that a it, loophole? He really is. They really function as one unit. Okay. Uh, you know, he's the brains, right? And blast and uh, blasters the bronze. Okay. So. so is that their name specifically? Like on their? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, I believe uh-huh. they're only they're only referred to as master blaster <laughs> and only as one one uh-huh. unit. So like, do they? So like, I imagine they live together. I guess. Yeah, they, they get an adventures. It's kind of <laughs> it's a little undescribed. Like it, it seems like it's paternal. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, though, there's like everything. Like everything. Um, That's what like, I like, like about everything in Mad Max. Yeah. There's definitely an element of sadomasochism to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, in case the the chains and leather everyone is like away. still kind of like it's the desert and it sucks, but everyone like still is a little turned on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there was a. Uh, there is a. Um, <laughs> see if I can draw like the. There we one go. of my favorite uh, yeah. little details in Fury Road, and uh-huh. there's so many of them. I mean, like every frame of that movie is just filled with stuff. Yeah. But there's that accountant character. Oh man. Who's? Do you remember? Do you know his the, name? The, the people eater, I think, is what he. Calls. The people eater, maybe. Yeah. He he's like the he's the stuffy accountant character, and he's yeah. got like a watch chain vest thing, like an old like Dickensian character. Mm-hmm. But if you look really close to like the watch chains are basically nipple clamps <laughs> on either side of them. And it's just like I was like, wow, you think you could look at this movie for hours and never maybe that's what happened maybe that like in the future like everything just got too kinky and he, well, he's so <laughs> kind of it's so funny because he's so uptight someone just like, had a what? nuclear bomb fetish and accidentally destroyed the world <laughs> it's just that and he he's like the uptight character yeah all things. imagine him he's like well obviously i have nipple glands that's just <laughs> yeah. who doesn't have nipple glands <laughs> it's true um, so what was your favorite? A, what do you think your favorite scene of the movie was? Oh man, uh, that is a good question. I mean, there's really just three. It's sort of a series of three really amazing. I think. Sequences. I mean, yeah, I think it was when those pole vaulters showed up. Yeah, towards uh, the end. I feel like this Which guy. They had a oh, name. They were, they were like sky riders or something like that. Yeah, they all had like everything. Every, that's my favorite thing about this movie. Is like everything has like a crazy name. Uh, I feel like you need like, oh, oh, of course. I was like, wait, how how can I make this a little more Mad Maxy? And let's just give him like. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna like add just a little bit of leather. <laughs> the most uncomfortable thing to wear in the desert, and yet. Oh, okay. yeah. There we go. Uh, maybe a cod piece. Lots of chafing. Probably a cod piece, right? Oh, another detail. Yeah. 
um, is when the, the concubines when uh, yeah. when, first, when they take their chastity belts off. Oh so yeah, they have like there's like teeth where the vaginas uh, are. Which no, is, yeah. Oh, well, more Chan Joe thought of everything. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I think the idea is that like no man would have, no man can you know have these women uh, without losing their their penis. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, it was. Um, I mean, like if you live in the kinky future. If you're in that, if you're in that full kink Mad Max future, like you got to watch out. You got to be like, you got to protect your uh, <laughs> your investments, I guess. The um, right and that was kind of this whole everyone. Stupid. Everyone is just like so thirsty, but also like very thirsty, Should, as in like sexually. Do we, are we going to try to avoid spoilers in this? Or? I would say so. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's, I don't, it came out pretty recently. Yeah. Yeah. There's not that many, and then luckily there's not that much mm-hmm. to spoil. Um, except, I'm going to give his his uh, cod. Sorry, I'm just going to give his cod piece a little skull. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's going. It's, it's a yeah, nice. There Lots of go. skulls in this movie. I like that. Um, big fan. Again, it's a very heavy metal movie. I feel mm-hmm. like movies have gotten very like polished and kind of like cheerful and like jokey. You know, like kind of yeah. like the Avengers model. But it was cool to see a movie like I feel like when the title came up and it was that like super eighties throwback, like yeah. you know, metal font, and then like the subtitle was just like blazed onto screen in this kind of like almost like just. It, I don't know. It was I don't like even this, think yeah. what's cool about the, the movie. What, it was, what I think is really cool about the movie is that because, like, for George Miller, it's not throwbacky because he never stopped <laughs> no, making his true. movies that way. Like the first three Mad Maxes, it has and Happy this, Feet is it, just like a fucking <laughs> dystopian. <laughs> he hellhole. did. He did take a, a, a thirty-year hiatus to make talking <laughs> animal movies, but like, I also think there's like an, it's an Australian thing. Like that's yeah. Like, I think it's like I, I you know commenters should feel free to correct me but mm-hmm. i i feel like that is like 13 percent what australia is oh, really like <laughs> <laughs> just 13 yeah i mean maybe that's why like because i was i was noticing how like um you know the earlier movies are a little more like society hasn't completely collapsed mm-hmm. but that was like in fairy road like things are are fully fucked <laughs> yeah i think each one i think the fir- they would get progressively more and more um i guess science fictional or yeah. more and more detached but there's always that element I mean what's cool about the rock and roll stuff is that I'm gonna make this guy look really dumb it's very um, mm-hmm. it's it's like if society started over yeah. if there was this big nuclear holocaust or whatever happened then you know where these ancient rock the rock and rolls for rock, heavy metal would take on this like mythic yeah yeah like tales tales of your well, that's like characteristic really, yeah. I think that that's why and that's where all the all the henchmen were kind of they kind they were kind of like these modern these futuristic Vikings who like worshipped rock and roll. Yeah, and they like you know and in cars like they had that like. Uh, Wait, what are you doing with blaster here? Uh, I'm making him blaster. really dumb. <laughs> I'm so is him, he like, human? A big, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's just got like a real, he's just got like a real big fat face. Looks like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's I, I'm he's a Mad Max character. <laughs> he's basically. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. What's, did we ever decide on his name? You had a good one earlier on. Guster like, Bluster? Yeah. Maybe like G- Guster Bluster. I'm trying to think I like of Bluster something. because it's like Bluster, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, can, it suggests Musty a mistake, Bluster. Like blunder. Have a blunder. Like m- blunder blunder. Blunder blunder. Because it's like, it, it's a blunder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I like they put that. The heavy guy on top. Mm hmm. But, but the, I like that they're aware of that. Like, that's, like, part of their identity. Like, yeah, it's like they did it, and they, they revealed it, and uh-huh. everyone was like... like that's th- kind of dumb. They, they like, no, it off. did it on purpose. Yeah, oh. You're dumb. <laughs> you're dumb. Come here and fight me. <laughs> you're in this dome. Move, move, come they on, don't, forward. move forward. Come on. Damn oh, this is this is from the Blunder Dome, though, so it's like a, it's like a comedy... Ooh, what Maybe they're, like, a comedy duo. They're, they're part of, like, post-apocalyptic improv or something like that. I gotta say, um, so which one's Munder and which one's Blunder? Uh, I think... I think it's not who you would, not who you think is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, yeah. that blunder is the bigger one. Yeah, and I think that I got Munder. I'm gonna call this episode "Welcome to Blunder Dome." By the way, <laughs> Munder is pretty jack though. Munder's like definitely supporting him. Yeah, he's, he's straining, but he's not. Yeah, I mean, like I will, like, dude. Yeah, like this dude's. He's been doing a lot of uh, squats. To, to prepare for their uh, their appearance in the Blunder Dome. Uh, 
but he yeah so i think the, the whole thing with the with those like yeah those, um, i can't remember their names but the henchmen basically the war boys nicholas holt amazing yeah 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 like what he, else has he been in what do i know him from he was his big breakout was he was in about a boy the movie oh yeah that's what's so crazy about it he's, he's the boy from about a boy yeah the same <laughs> about char- same character actually they could have <laughs> called the movie mad max about a war boy yeah and they probably should have that was actually. <laughs> I think it's the same universe. I think that <laughs> that's what happens to that kid after he, he, Hugh Grant. Uh, yeah, like uh, Hugh does Grant this thing. comes in and like you know like helps him you know become he, a you know like become a boy. He's also a beast in. Um, oh yeah. And I think it's a testament to just how great this movie is and how memorable it is that yeah. like when he was beast it like it didn't I was like ah oh, yeah he's playing he's playing like a, a guy who turned into a blue gorilla like yeah. <laughs> didn't didn't seem that weird and this this is the movie that I'm like wow like he trans he really transformed yeah. himself <laughs> but he literally transforms in X-Men but like it, it, those movies just don't have the same uh acting's pretty crazy huh Pat I feel yeah. like you should be holding something dumb oh yeah um god what do they have in the, a gun or a knife yeah oh yeah it should something. be like a um oh yeah uh I'm going to give him like a club, maybe? Yeah. yeah oh, wow, yeah. yeah. Like this is a straight-up club. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bullets are scarce. Um, yeah, I love... Uh, I think... Who's your, fa- and your favorite character? Is, uh, who's your favorite character? Ooh, um, that's a good question. I feel like... I really liked the uh, the bullet guy from the, from Bullet Farm. Who uh, was he? He's the dude... Uh, I think it's just his costume. All the costumes were really good, but his yeah. costume was like... He had that like hood made entirely of bullets, which I thought was really cool. Oh yeah, is yeah. He, yeah. He's the one that kind of chases them in the middle of the night. Yeah, cool. yeah. And he's that, got that cool tank. Yes, this man has a mask, a sort of cloak made out of bullets. I feel like this guy needs. And that's um, another element where that character. There was things about him that I yeah. didn't totally get. Mm-hmm. Like he was, like there's this scene I would like him to enjoy where he kind of takes pursuit of uh, <laughs> of. Um, Mad Max and, yeah, yeah. And, and Mad Max's crew. I'm making this and he's guy like, fatter. He takes on this like weird. He's like screaming like these religious, like weirdly religious things about them. Yeah, and it's just like there's no. Every character has like something <laughs> yeah. about them. Like, oh, this guy's got a whole other life. Like, I, I, like, yeah, I like that. That's like the weird. I mean, it's like any any good movie. Like you know, everyone's got like you know motivations and stuff like that. Mm. But like, except Max. That's what makes. Make, I like that. I like yeah. that Max. Uh, and I feel like in the other movies he has more personality. But I like that he was just kind of like. This observer, and that kind of that kind of works best for it. He's the only like sane person yeah. in the movie, really. Surely he's not Durant's even that sane. Normal. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> but um, you know what? Not as you know, as far as you know, madness goes, not the maddest Max I've seen. I did like Immortanjo a lot. Absolutely, I thought he was very. I love the like hard shell plastic like. This guy needs. Adam. This guy needs some sort of like uh, helmet, or maybe he's got like a little like World War One German helmet on. Oh, that's great! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is this is Blunder, <laughs> and the other one's Munder. Munder's the master okay. on the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> and Blunder's <a> mistake, <laughs> mistakenly placed. <laughs> the helmet does not fit perfectly. No. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> and then he's also got a skull on it, because you know. I mean, that makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah. Historically. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we're. Um, I'm gonna add some shading because I'm just enjoying this drawing a lot. <laughs> can you add, can I'm gonna make like him a, a little can you fatter. Just put a little like desert in the background. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. I feel like we're, we are. Where do these guys hang out? Um, I think because I feel like that like most Mad Max takes place in Australia, I guess. Mm-hmm. But these guys definitely like could not cut it in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I think they. <laughs> They're like. They did not make it. Th- I, I do not think they are allowed in Thunderdome. I think I'm feeling like Denver, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, what's what, this is what's going on in, de- in other parts of uh, it's like actually of the way world. better. I think like, I always that'd be really. I always like to pretend yeah. that um, also, that Mad Max is like it's actually set in the present. And every, <laughs> every, everywhere, else, everywhere else in the world is fine. It's just like <laughs> it's Australia. Just Australia what are you like, doing? Yeah, like somebody, yeah, like everyone else just forgot about Australia for a month, and that's yeah. what happened. It's like, do we? We send that fruit and water to Australia. They lost a soccer yeah, game. Yeah, did we send? <laughs> and just society crumbled. Yeah, like somebody, somebody forgot to send penicillin to Australia. And I like that's this what color happened. choice. Did you make this color choice because was this like? Oh, you mean the Browns? Yeah. Yeah, do I was you like often do it, or is it just feel Mad Maxi? Well, whenever we do a draw fee, I always like try and like pick a you know because I only use like one color usually. Yeah, yeah. So I try to pick a color that's gonna like mimic the uh, the vibe for what we're drawing. That is and that is definitely true. Yeah. It is one of the most like it's dirty. brown movies. It's I've very ever brown, seen. but it's like not in a in like a very beautiful way. 
Yeah, not like in a Michael Bay, just uh-huh. kind of like, you know, it's over- not co- muddy. overly cover- color corrected. Right, way, unless you sure. got some like dunes in the background yeah. here. <laughs> oh, can, I, have a, I have a recommendation. Yeah. Uh, can you draw, it may be too much, but can you draw like a, is there any way to get like a confused Mad Max just looking at Oh, yeah, things? I'll put him on this cliff over here, <laughs> on this dune. He's just like, what? Just, yeah. <laughs> It's like real small. Uh, Doesn't know what to make of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love I, I love Mad Max's little like the shoulder, jacket. The jacket, yeah. Yeah. He's just like uh yeah, he's gonna be like, um what? <laughs> and it really bold choice. You don't um I, again I feel like I hope I'm not giving too much away here, but you, he, he he's really not in the movie that much for the, like the first act. He, yeah. He is, but he's he's kind of um tucked aside because mm-hmm. he's sort of a prisoner and you don't it's just incredible it, it, for, for to do that you know, in a movie. You know, when well, yeah. called Mad Max. I think that's what's fun that, about it because it's like the fourth one. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like I – this is a weird comparison to make. Uh, I'll compare it to a worse movie. Did you see the the Wolverine movie? Not the, the Origins one, but the um, – The second the one in Japan? Yeah. I actually only saw that one. I didn't see the first one. <laughs> that's the only other movie you've seen ever, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I only see the second. Uh, um, what, what, what do you? What, oh, what it's just because it's like it's a very small movie um, in the way that Mad Max is. Where like not a lot happens in yeah. Mad Max. Like it's like just kind of one, uh, which I think to its benefit. Yeah, I think they're um, they're very much like mm-hmm. westerns mm-hmm. where he just kind of like strolls into town with no name. Yeah, and 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 helps solve a, like bring bring freedom to the town like seven samurai style yeah and yeah pe- and then he just pieces out i mean we're talking about mad max in, in wolverine he does fight a robot so that is different yeah yeah i wasn't, I wasn't crazy about that movie this uh, movie i liked really, it i liked it more than it should have i feel like i do feel like this movie i walked out of this movie yeah. like what did that snow piercer survive oh snow piercer but yeah it made me kind of realize how it made me like 10 Ten percent less into the Marvel movies. Oh yeah, like, I, like, I just felt so much more in this movie than I do in those movies. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. And there's a lot that's amazing about those films, but like, I, I get what you're saying. You know, um, let me. Yeah, did you hear um, Simon Pegg's like? Did he read his thing about? Oh, is uh, it kind of like nerd culture? Kind of. Uh, I, I didn't. Yeah, 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 take. Sort of I don't want to say takedown, but like, yeah, he kind of. No, just, it was like, kind of taken out of context. He was just talking. It was more like. No, it was, it was, it was very actually, eloquent. Yeah. I, I did see that. Yeah. I liked that a lot. Uh, I, I kind of felt the same. It's always a, a weird thing because you don't want to like decry like nerd culture at all because uh, it's you yeah know. i think what a i totally agree with what he said and yeah. B, i think but at the same time i think it was just a, a uh a rephrased version of it was really more uh about like dumb movies not yeah. about sci-fi movies yeah which i think is not a new argument it's like the transformers argument mm-hmm. it's like you know the tra- saying transformers is bad it's not <laughs> yeah. revolutionary but i totally agree with him like it is. Um, I think when he was talking about like gem, someone someone had mentioned like it, it is true. Where, like I just I still the gem, the gem and the holograms thing. Was, yeah, like, I was like that's so funny. <laughs> He's so confused. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that's great. We had some like clouds in the back there. <laughs> is it a cloud or is it a sandstorm? Oh, it's just it's, uh, yeah, that's it's another great part. Of the, there's a part where they drive on. into a sandstorm and it is just this beautifully like it, that. That was it's one of the. It feels like one of the more. Um, com- created uh, yeah. parts of the movies. But then again, I could be wrong. But it was like still, um, yeah. But it's it's worth it. Like it, it's it's if if you're gonna like, it's the really the only part that feels computer generated. Uh-huh. And it's it's beautifully computer generated. Uh, it's not like computers it, are computers are beautiful. We're computer generating right now. That's true, man. You say exactly. It's just another tool. <laughs> just another tool. And the look, we're, we're creating a thing of beauty. <laughs> A, a, midget, oh, yeah, beautiful, the dark eyes, a beautiful man, uh, the, a beautiful friendship. I would say, this is actually what the ne- uh, this is the movie. Forget about uh, uh, Furiosa. This is who the next movie is about. It's about Mu- it's about love, Munder Blunder. I love the um, complete. I love that he's just screaming. Yeah, at nothing. <laughs> like not at, yeah, it's a little unclear what he's screaming at, but he's just like the, he just does that twenty four seven. Yeah, that's like it is like. This is why uh, this guy looks so tired. Is because like uh, Blunder just constantly screams. <laughs> <laughs> he never stops screaming. Okay, that's. <laughs> I think we've probably done enough for today. This is beautiful. Where, did, where does this go now? I just put it in a folder. <laughs> and it goes away. I mean, I upload the video to the internet. When you die, someone opens <laughs> your hard drive. They have yeah. a lot of questions. 
going uh, to... it, when when George Miller opens this, he's gonna be like, okay, great. I don't I don't have to you know worry about the next movie because it's less, done. Less yeah, check that off. He just hands this right to costume design. So now I only need twenty seven weird characters. <laughs> This is awesome. Great suggestion. Good. Yeah, thanks so great, much. Great timing, too. We, j- we literally saw this movie less than 24. I think we saw this movie 24 hours Thank ago. you, Chris Vince, for your wonderful suggestion. And thank you guys for, for watching the show. Um, if you have suggestions for what you want us to draw, leave them in the comments, and maybe we'll draw them. Uh, and we will see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching. And as always, we're very sorry. Bye. <laughs>